friends, Fire on Pop here. Congratulations, 1911 and John Moses Browning. 100 years of the 1911. Everywhere you turn this year, you will see reviews celebrating this major milestone in the life of a firearm. Why, even the state of Utah has proclaimed that the 1911 is the state firearm. No other firearm has anywhere near the history that this beloved gun has, and 90% of the celebratorial articles written will be on the Colt and the Springfield Armory. This review today will be on the Taurus PT-1911 AR and the Citadel M1911A1 Compact. The specs. The 1911 is a single action semi-automatic magazine fed and recoil operated handgun chambered for the 45 ACP. John M. Browning designed the firearm which was the standard issue sidearm for the United States Armed Forces from 1911 to, to 1985. The 1911 is still carried by some U.S. forces. It is widely used in World War I. World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. The Taurus PT-1911 AR is an all-steel, 5-inch barrel 1911, just as John Browning intended it, his 45 caliber to be. The Taurus is a superb weapon, right out of the box. This is a heck of a good value in a quality 1911. It is made from forged steel, has a very good blued finish, and a long list of upgraded parts that would cost extra on most pistols in this price range. The weight comes in at 2 pounds, 8 ounces, 8 and 3 eighths ounces, with no mag or ammo. Fully loaded with premium accessories, with individually tuned and fitted features, the PT-1911 leaps from the box already equipped uh, to go ahead with head to head with the current model 1911 market's most dominant names, with more trimmings and even uh, many custom built co uh, competition guns, all that uh, all that at half the recommended retail price of any other equivalent uh, equipped model 1911. The fundamental format is a standard full size uh, model 1911 with a five inch barrel built exactly to the U.S. government's final official specifications set for the gun circa 1947 and manufactured entirely by Taurus in its ultra-modern Brazilian facilities. This gun has fired everything I asked it to and then some. It was accurate right out of the box. The suggested retail price on this gun is $599 and that is a real bargain for a 1911 that has a full set of features, a smooth trigger and is more accurate than I am. It is a high quality fighting pistol and I recommend this Taurus PT 1911. The Citadel M1911A1 Compact, Le Legacy Sports International LSI, has a 3.5-inch 1911 pistol, which is available for a touch under $500. While 500 bucks is not an insignificant chunk of change, it is pretty low price for a 1911. After a couple of months of paying them, no mind, I decided to see if the Citadel was a pistol uh, you could bet your life on. LSI gets the pistols from M Armscore and they are manufactured in the Philippines. 
I chose a 3.5 inch uh, concealed combat chambered in 45 ACP that sported the following features. Series 70 firing system, a 3.5 inch forged bushingless bull barrel, full length guide rod, cash frame, and a milled slide. Skeletonized hammer and trigger, uh, Kovacs uh, style sights, lowered and flared ejection port, positive grip safety, and extended beaver tail, and two six round magazines. The weight comes in at two pounds, one and five eighths ounce, with no mag ammo. Those features I can usually do without the extended beaver tail and the bushingless barrel bull barrel and full length guide rod. The extended beaver tail makes the pistol uncomfortable in an, uh, inside the waistband holster as it sticks in my side. These are originally all rage, all the rage to keep the spur hammer on the old Colt government models from biting the web of your hand. The rounded hammer pretty much handles that <clears throat> no, no skinny uh, elongated beaver tail just seems to be something else to get in the way. The Bushingless barrel, bull barrel and full length guy ride likewise seems to serve no positive purpose and have unintended consequences of usually making the pistol more difficult to disassemble and reassemble. Now the Citadel did not seem to be too bad to field strip but and put back together. I put a lot of range time on this gun and yet to have a problem with feeding or firing any ammo. With this small size this gun conceals well and, I, and can deliver on firepower. Here's our target. Uh, let's see what we can do to it. Now uh, there's a target we can all uh, appreciate. In summary, the 1911 platform is the foundation of any gun enthusiast, novice or collector. Once you have fired a 1911, you quickly realize why this gun has the history that it does. With a little effort, you can find a 1911 to fit your needs and pocketbook. So congrats, 1911, for your 100th anniversary. Okay, like I mentioned last time, uh, what I'd like to do is at least give my guns a quick shot of uh, a cleaner while I'm here at the range. Uh, with semi-autos, uh, I don't break them down here. I'd rather do that at home. Just uh, not conducive uh, at the stand. This way, at home, I can uh, I can sit down and and take them apart. But at least this way, uh, we'll run the boar snake through there and give them a good wipe down. Uh, no, it doesn't get the feed ramp and all. But uh, really didn't shoot that much. We have to worry about the excessive corros corrosion. Uh, so. Uh, might even do that twice. Just to make sure I got everything around that feed ramp. And next time uh, we shouldn't have any problems. Not that uh, we had any problems today. Both guns performed flawlessly. Uh, and I'm really pleased with both these 1911s. I, I, uh, you know, I, I really like them. Uh, That was the wind, believe it or not, windy day. And a good catch on my part, if I will say so myself. Uh, anyway, uh, it doesn't take long, and uh, I feel much better storing my guns away, even if it's for a short time, knowing that uh, I at least got the barrel cleaned out. Ramp. So nothing is uh, going to dry on.
Well. There you have it. A hundred years of uh, perfection. Uh, two weapons that uh, work flawlessly, are rugged, uh, served our military and our, our armed forces and, uh, and police for many years, for a hundred years. And uh, just two uh, great weapons in my collection. And, uh, I enjoy shooting both of them. So, okay, one of the other things I'm going to slip in here and show you uh, how I do store, carry, and, and store my weapons. Uh, bought these. These are gun socks. Uh, I, I really like these because uh, it does a couple of things. It protects the gun while they're stored away. Fit in there nicely. Uh, and it's a, uh, something that will wick the dampness away from the gun even though they're nicely oiled. So uh, this is how... Uh, I transport and store my guns in the safe. Uh, I, I, I've thought of labeling them so I know, but usually by weight and size, I know which, which weapons are which. But uh, that's uh, pretty much how I store my weapons. Uh, these uh, gun socks are just great. Hope you enjoyed this short video. <laughs> this is Firearm Pop. Be safe out there and God bless. Bye now.